Community Eye Center is really living up to its name. They truly do care about their community and your eyesight, and that is one of the reasons I am so happy to welcome to the show this morning Dr. Joseph Spadafora. Good morning, Doctor. Glad to have you back. Good morning. Good to be here. This is so true that I, I love that you guys love educating people. Um, and uh, one of the things we're going to talk about this morning is blurry vision. And I, I, you probably get asked a lot about cataract surgery, and maybe people assume that's what's going on when you have blurry vision. But you guys do so much more than that, and there's so much more involved. Tell us a little bit about that, Doctor. Well, eye care is really an exciting component, if yeah. you will, of the human body. Over 80 different diseases can be determined by looking at the eye. Wow. So a patient comes in saying, Doc, I'm not happy with my glasses. Something's not quite right. We look in there, and we see they've had three or four pairs of glasses in the course of the last six months. We think of diabetes is the number one cause of that problem or some sort of vascular problem behind the eye. So we're looking for changes and patterns and problems, and our job is to identify and direct them correctly. Yeah, so what is maybe the, kind of the more common things that you see? Is it cataract, or is it just a wide variety of everything? Can you really not pinpoint it? Officially, only 3% of the population that has cataracts requires surgery. Oh, wow, okay. So the vast yeah. majority do not. So a person comes in with various complaints, and we look in the back of the eye, and we see a number of things which are significant. Okay. Um, I know you guys are very excited about what's going on now because you've uh, been able to add some new providers, some new doctors to your staff. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we have uh, Dr. Misha. He's a uh, oculoplastic specialist mm -hmm. and he's an excellent individual. He has actually a PhD in anti-aging. Mm -hmm. uh, tremendous fellow. Does great work. And then we have uh, Dr. Spalding and uh, Dr. Roberts. And they've joined our group and uh, excellent doctors, uh, good diagnosticians. And it's exciting. Yeah, and it's exciting. I know coming in the new year as well, you're going to be opening a new office in Venice. And what's kind of the goal of the expansion here? And, and why are you, you know, excited and proud to be a part of what's going on right now? Well, medicine really is availability and technology. Yeah. We try our best to be on top of things and provide availability to our patients who need us. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes the timing is always an issue. But the thing <laughs> is, in medicine, the job is to do the job correctly first. Yes. That's the main issue. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about uh, your relationship with area providers as well, um, you know, because I know that's something else that you wanted to touch on that was important. Well, just yesterday, again, as I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, yeah. we had a situation of five different patients had to have carotid evaluations immediately because we saw some asymmetric changes in the back of the eye. And that was a significant thing because the vascular issue of significance. And a third one had to go for immediate uh, scan yeah. uh, for something more critical taking place. Well, and, it, and again, it goes back to what we were talking about where maybe just people assume that, you know, that eye surgery or eye care is just one specific kind of thing, but it's, it's evolving, it's changing, and there's a lot of different, uh, you know, areas that you guys are looking at. Well, 35% of the brain is actually for the eyeball. One third of your brain is for the eye, so we can pick up so many things. Yeah. It really is exciting if you find it, look for it. Mm -hmm. And our job is not just to be cataractologist. Yeah. Our job is to take care of the patient in the entirety. We find glaucoma issues which have been missed by other individuals. Uh, we find all kinds of things in the back yeah. of the eye. Arteriosclerosis and of course diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, November is a Diabetic Awareness Month. Is the number one cause of blindness in this country between 20 and 74 years of age. Man, that's crazy. Well, and I know you guys do these seminars too, talking about reaching out to the community. You invite people to come in, kind of meet you guys, see, you know, see what's interesting, you know, in the the world of eye care right now. And I think what is that? Every Mondays that you guys every do Monday, that, Doctor, you have this outreach program. Yes. And then I guess if anyone else is interested in, in what you guys are doing, uh, you know, about the new providers, the new doctors that you've you know had on your staff, what would you have them do? What's the easiest thing to do? Call the office, make an appointment, take a look at us. Awesome. Well. Doctor, thank you so much for being here this morning. Uh, we're so happy to have you here in Southwest Florida. Again, we really appreciate the education that you guys are offering uh, for our viewers, and we look forward to having your team back. Thank you. All right. Kind.